to the Lord. Yeah. And just call on. We all need to just call on the Lord when well, we need some help, y'all. He's yeah. good and so kind. Yeah. And I just thank him for his grace and his mercy this morning. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's prayer time. You can stand up at your seats. opportunity in life. But we need to take heed to the things that we have crossed over from 2022. We also need to be thankful for the blessings that God has bestowed upon us. Not material things, but just the breath of life still in your body this morning. Just because the blood is still running warm in your veins. Just because God still loves us, even though he has taken some of our loved ones, he still inspired us to keep on going and to keep on reaching for that high side, which is heaven. So, this morning we're reading a little bit of Psalms 39. Said, I, we, I said, I will take heed to my ways. That I sin not with my tongue. See, you got to watch that little pink panther inside your mouth. I will keep my mouth with a bird with a bridle while the wicked is before me. See that you're gonna be tried. But you gotta hold your tongue. Sometimes it's just to be quiet and just listen. See, I was done with silence. I held my peace even from good and my sorrow was stirred yes, yes. my heart was hot within me while I was musing the fire burned then spake I with my tongue see now it's time to speak see you done, you done got a little knowledge from God see God can put something on your heart yeah. see he said when the student is ready the teacher will appear yes, yes. Lord make me to know my end and the measure of my days what it is that I may know how frail I really am. Y'all hear the words of wisdom right there. Father God, as we come this morning once again, thank you. Thank you for your grace and your unmeasured mercy. Father, we thank you for allowing us to see another day on this side that we'll never see again on Heavenly Father. We thank you for all our loved ones this morning, Heavenly Father. We thank you for the smiling faces in the place this morning, Heavenly Father. We thank you for sustaining us the way I last night, oh, Heavenly Father. Everybody wasn't bursting fireworks last night, oh, Heavenly Father. We thank you for keeping us safe, oh, Heavenly Father, and out of harm's way, oh, Heavenly Father. But, Father God, as we come, we ask that you walk with us each and every day, oh, Heavenly Father. Father God, we ask that you control our minds, our thoughts, our hearts, oh Heavenly Father. If it's wicked in there, Heavenly Father, we ask that you take it out of us this morning, Heavenly Father. If it's hate inside of our bodies and inside of our hearts, Heavenly Father, we ask that you empty it out, Heavenly Father, and fill us back up with love, oh Heavenly Father. Father God, we know that we cannot do anything without you, oh Heavenly Father. But Father God, we ask that we do your will and your will only, oh Heavenly Father. But Heavenly Father, we know that we are still saved by grace, oh Heavenly Father. 
And we do follow him, Father, but we thank you for giving us the strength to get back up on him, Father. So, Father God, keep on giving us that little strength, just a little tug to make us move in the right direction on him, Father. Father God, if we have committed sins on him, Father, we ask that you forgive us this morning, Heavenly Father. Forgive us individually, forgive us collectively, O Heavenly Father. Forgive us all together, O Heavenly Father, as we stand in need of your forgiveness, O Heavenly Father. Father God, we ask that you bless the ones that are still out there suffering this morning from the disease of addiction, O Heavenly Father. Whether it be alcohol, drugs, food, whatever it might be, whatever they're addicted to, O Heavenly Father, we ask that you remove it from, O Heavenly Father. Father God, we ask that you put the desire in their heart to want to do better, O oh, Heavenly Father. We can want to fall all day, every day, O oh, Heavenly Father, but it's up to them. Yeah. Father God, we ask that you just light the fire inside of them, O oh, Heavenly Father. Let them come inside, O oh, Heavenly Father. Let them knock down the back door, O oh, Heavenly Father, run to the altar and say, what must I do to be saved, O oh, Heavenly Father? Father God, we ask that you bless the ones that are suffering this morning with a sickness of heaven, Father, whether it be cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, whatever it might be, oh heaven, Father, we call it out in the name of Jesus this morning, heaven, Father. Touch our, touch our fragile bodies, oh heaven, Father. Heal us, oh heaven, Father, where we're weak, oh heaven, Father, make us strong, oh heaven, Father. Father God, as the kids get ready to go back to school or college or wherever they might be going, Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless them, oh Heavenly Father. Yeah. Keep the evil outside of the hallways, oh Heavenly Father. Yeah. Lock it down tight, Heavenly Father. Keep your angel protection there with our babies, oh Heavenly Father. Yeah. Father God, bless the ones that are getting ready to go back to work, oh Heavenly Father. Yeah. Bless the ones that retired, oh Heavenly Father, that already made it through, oh Heavenly Father, and sitting at home. Whatever they're doing, oh Heavenly Father. Give them the strength to open up their Bibles, oh Heavenly Father. Shake the dust off, oh Heavenly Father. Father God, we can never thank you enough. But we thank you today, oh Heavenly Father. By the blood still running warm in our veins, oh Heavenly Father. We, we glory hallelujah to you this morning, Heavenly Father. Father God, I ask that you bless the preach word of Heavenly Father this morning, Heavenly Father. Bless Pastor Hubert Blake as he about to deliver your word, oh Heavenly Father. Bless the peace birth throughout the land and country, Heavenly Father. Ask us pray in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Over the floodgate. Over the floodgate. Open the floodgate. Open the floodgate. Open the floodgate. Open the floodgate. Let it rain. Hey, let it rain. Open the floodgate.
Because God know about it. If you, like me, you gave it to the Lord and you finished with it, it's a, enough, Paul said there's enough trouble in one day. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about tomorrow. But God had searched this brother's mind and all. He already knew what was wrong with him. Already knew. So he, uh, he told him, he said, why are you trying to hide from me? Mm -hmm. And you can't, where are you going? Yeah. I want to say to you on today, oh, what are you trying to hide from people from? People don't have anything or any place for you. God knows what you're doing, and if you're doing something wrong, you need to stop right now. You are starting a new year, so you need to really get your house and all. If you missed up out with something last year, this year is another opportunity. You can start out new. Ain't nobody, all that back stuff, you can forget about it. All that stuff I did last year, you saw me do? Huh. I might not do that this year. I want to do the right thing. I want to serve God in right. Do you believe God knows what you're doing? Oh, yeah. If you don't believe it, I, I want to encourage you today to know He knows everything about you. He knows every strain a hair on that head and all of those that have fallen off and some that don't have any. Oh, sorry about that. But he know everything about he know I walk, he know I he know everything. So don't try don't try to hide from oh some people say I didn't want the preacher to see. The uh, the preacher ain't the one. You better know. Believe that God knows what you're doing. It don't apply to you if you're not trying to hide from God. But I want, I'm talking to the one that's trying to fool him. You can't fool God. You, you tell people, oh man, I love God. I, and then next minute you see you being a hypocrite. Talking about everyone. Everyone. But my brothers and my sisters, it behooves us to try to live a better life. Amen. I, I don't know how good or how well you're living, but I want you to know you can do a little bit better. Mm -hmm. At least I know I can. Mm -hmm. There have been times in my life I was critical of myself and just about everybody else. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what pain will do for you sometimes. Mm -hmm. But if you turn it over to Jesus, yeah. Yeah. he'll make everything all right. If it's for you to, he said, Jesus suffered, so you will suffer. Mm -hmm. How are you going to fool him? <laughs> it's time to get right, church. You have another opportunity. If you didn't get a chance to sing in the choir, you can join the choir, they say. If, you, if he called you to preach and you didn't confess your calling, come on up. Some man with preaching anyway. God is so good, so kind, and so merciful. God is everywhere, so how can you fool him? God let us know he is everywhere at the same time. Church, we need to really be a beacon light upon the hill that people can come to and say there is a better place. Don't have to every time you go around Look at all the bad in a person. There's some good in the worst of us. And God knows there's some bad in the best of us. So it behooves us to turn right and go straight. See, David found out that God had searched him. He had searched him out. He was doing a little of everything. But God let him know he was not pleased just like if you're a child of God, mm -hmm. there is stipulations. If you're a child of God, everybody say they're a child of God. <laughs> you have to watch them. You don't have to watch them. You will know by the walk that they walk yeah. and the talk that they talk, the life that they are living. No one, please note this if you might forget it. Down here, 
is living a perfect life. There's something wrong with you. I know there's something wrong with me. But God will have to be the one that fixes it. You can't fix it. You be like me, make a mess out of it. Oh, because he is the one who wakes us up and let us get up. Some of us is so mean that we won't even say thank you. That's the reason I was encouraged a while ago about thank you, Lord. I was encouraged last night when the preacher said, leave all that baggage behind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if I didn't like you last year, I want to love you this year. Yeah. I'm here to tell you, my brothers and sisters, we cannot live in this world by ourselves. Yes. No. I don't care how long I stay in that house. Uh, that I don't have a human in there with me. Oh, but I know I have the Lord in there. Yeah. I, I know the birds hear me saying, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. But being able to get up, dress myself, mm -hmm. fix me some food or whatever I want, <laughs> God is so good. Yeah. And if I want to lay down all day, mm -hmm. I can lay down all day. Yeah. I ain't no Lord here. Yeah. <laughs> some of us is too mean to say thank you, Jesus. Amen. But I'm here to tell you, number four say, what can we say? Lord, thou knowest it all. That's when David finally come to the realization. Yeah. God knows everything. So five, that fifth verse said, thank God. <laughs> First, God is so good. Put his hands on me. One day, God touched me and made me come to myself. Say, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. You really ain't doing nothing, but you're doing a lot of harm to yourself. My brothers and sisters, when we come to the realization that God loves us, don't worry about people. People will say they love you until you get down. People will say they love you until you don't act like they are. People will say they love you uh, when you got a little money. People say they love you when you got a little honey. Oh, but when that run out, huh. you don't see them no more. Huh. Number six says, such knowledge is too much for me. Mm -hmm. I just can't understand. Yeah. Yeah. I can't understand why God still loved me and did all the things he did to me yeah. when I wasn't doing nothing but uh, trying to do what I wanted to do. I was kind of... Uh, successful. Every time I get all that false courage, I thought I could move mountains. I get me a good silver that smeared off my head. I, could, I, I, I thought I could. Uh, I had it going on. But one day the vodka ran out. One day I got where I could hardly walk. One day I got where I could hardly talk. The vodka didn't do me no good. I, 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 I start feeling good, but I wasn't doing good. Yeah. God, false heaven. But one day God keep me up. Yes. And asked me, what you trying to do? Mm -hmm. I gave you life. Look like you trying to take it. Yes. I said, Lord, I'm like the brother then. I'm like, what would you have mm -hmm. me to do? Yes. I've been running oh. ever since that day. Yes. I've been slipping, I've been falling, I've been getting back up, but so far I'm still up. Yeah. And God will hold you up. Yes, yes, will. Yes. If you keep on praying, God will hold you up yes. if you do the right thing. Yes. God will hold you up if you treat people the way you want to be treated. Yes. God will hold you up yes, if you don't hold hatred and malice in your heart. Yes. God will hold you up if you love one another as he have loved us. Yeah. Oh, God is so good. Yes. David finally realized where he was. Mm -hmm. He said, wherever I go, yes. God is out. Yeah. I cannot hide mm -hmm. from God. Mm -hmm. All that eighth verse say, if, if I go to heaven, mm -hmm. he's there. Mm -hmm. If my bed, make my bed in hell, yeah. he's there. Now and say, if I take the wings of the morning huh? and dwell yeah. in the utmost part of the sea. He's there. He's there. Yeah. Even there. In 10 verse 8, they 
Thy hand shall lead me, yeah. and thy right hand shall hold me. Yeah. It's going to take the right hand. Yeah. It's going to yeah. do it right yeah. to follow Jesus. Yeah. Oh, it's a tedious journey. Yes, it you is. remember the old saying, it's a dirty job, but somebody got to do it. I found out one day I had a talk with Jesus. He said, I want you to do that job. I don't care how they spell lies your name. I don't care how they talk about you. I don't care how they hate you. Do what I tell you to do. And everything will be all right. One day I got up. I said, I'm going to serve God until the day I die. And I'm so glad ever since that day. I've been trying to the best of my ability yes, yes. to do what God tell me to do. And I want to tell you another thing, my brother, that's why I'm thinking about it. Don't ever tell anyone what God didn't tell them to do because you don't know what God told me. Amen. It might sound funny. It might sound like, oh, he couldn't have told old preacher that. If he told me that, you don't know. If I tell you he told me, I, I, I wouldn't get back here and lie. I didn't do much lying when I was out there in the world. I just went on by myself. I, every time, just like I am now, driving around, I was mostly by myself. God will help you in every situation. Yes, yes, He will. He's been with me all the time, even in my mother's room. Right? That's why I praise Him. That 14th verse say that's why I praise him when I found out he made me. And someone, I'm so glad he know he kept me when I didn't want to keep myself. Mm -hmm. I wasn't able to keep myself, and I didn't want to keep myself. Mm -hmm. But he kept me up, mm -hmm. and he turned me around. Yes. Placed my feet on a solid foundation. Mm -hmm. Oh, every time. I've been young, my brothers. And my sisters, I know you see some of these gray arts, those people younger than me, they ain't got no hair, or they snow white. Oh, but I'm still soft and deaf. I don't know why. I really don't, and I ain't never put no kind of dye on my head. I can't, Lord, help. Yeah. God is real. God is true. He turned me around, cuz, and placed my feet on a solid foundation. Yes. Every time I, I just about slipped, he slid me right back in the place that I'm supposed to be at. Okay. And I'm so glad he said, I never, I never seen the righteous forsake. Yes. No, I see you beg and pray. If you beg it, yes. you're gonna believe in God. Because he said he will feed you. He'll give you your daily bread. Yes. So why are you walking around here looking for a hand now? Mm -hmm. Oh, a Paul or Peter one say, a man fool around and don't work. He don't need to eat. Oh, it's in there. Keep on reading your Bible. Mm -hmm. He's been my help in ages past and my hope for years to come. He's on the way back, church. Yes. Yes. And he's going to pay every man as his work shall be. All oh, my brothers and my sisters, yes. if you don't have no work done, you're not going to get any pay. He's coming back up our church without a spot. All right, I don't know how he's going to hide it out, but he's God, and he's God all by himself. Mm -hmm. One who I washed our robes. Yes. I'm just about to close. In the blood of the Lamb, yes. no more heartache. No more headaches. Right. No more pain. Yeah. No more sorrow. Yeah. No more pills. Yeah. Yeah. No more crying. Yeah. No more dying. Yeah. All things Hallelujah. will be passed away. Behold, all things will become brand new. Yes. New stuff shows some most of it smell good. <laughs> most of it look good. I'm looking for some newness of life. I'm tired of that old saying, oh, he come again. I'm glad yeah. to be in the service of the Lord. Yeah. I know my steps getting short, my eyes getting dimmer, 
But I can tell I'm getting closer to my maker. And one of these old days, yeah. you're going to step out of divinity yeah. into time. In the cloud of time, bro, yeah. won't be no more. Mm -hmm. All of my sorrow, oh, wow. all of my heartaches, yeah. all of my pains, mm -hmm. all of my disappointments, yeah. they're going to be over with. Over. I'm going home, yeah. but the wicked will cease from coming, right. and the wicked will be at rest. I'm going home where every day will be Sunday. Yeah. I'm going home but South will have no end. Yeah. I'm going home. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going Hallelujah. home. Amen. I'm going home. Amen. And the Bible said we shall see him home as he is. Yeah. Huh? That's going to be great, isn't it? Yeah. To see him. To see him. As he is. I'm going home. Let me share my story with you. Woo. I'm going home. I'm going home. All the things that he brought to you. The story days. Right. And the rainy days. Don't know, don't know all the tears I've cried. Yeah. Just don't know, just don't know. The things I've been bottled up inside. Trying my best to be strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying my best. Waiting on God. 